Thanks to XR hardware analyst Brad Lynch, lots of rumors about Meta's next headset have released online. Codename Seacliff and Cambria is set to be called the Quest 2 Pro. So the display will feature two dual cell LCD panels with advanced backlighting, enabling pixel level controls, creating OLED like black levels without the traditional drawbacks of OLED in VR. The resolution is pretty much set to be 1832 by 1920 pixels per eye, the exact same as the Quest 2. There were previous rumors that they would use a mini LED with 2160 by 2160. I would be extremely disappointed if there isn't a resolution increase. The lenses are much smaller and lighter using pancake lenses, which will drastically reduce the size of the headset. You can adjust the lenses by sliding them, which will give you a much bigger range than the Quest 2. The lenses were built and designed specifically by Facebook. The FOV is rumored to be the exact same as the Quest 2. It has the same chip as the Quest 2, the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2. Although the Quest 2 has one fan, this will have two fans. Rumored to have 256 gigabytes of storage, as well as 12 gigabytes of RAM, with a heavy focus on productivity. Mark Zuckerberg recently said in his quarter one investor meeting, uh, Later this year, we'll release a higher end headset codenamed Project Cambria, which will be more focused on work use cases and eventually replacing your laptop or work setup. The two outside cameras on the headset feature two 1K near-infrared 120fps cameras. They provide a lure composite just like the Quest 2 does. The front sensor in the middle is a 4K 120fps RGB camera for full colour pass-through and mixed reality. The middle camera gives colour to the two outside cameras. This premium device will uh, have improved ergonomics and full colour pass-through mixed reality to seamlessly blend virtual reality with the physical world. The controllers are codenamed Starlet, which will use laser pattern projection that guides the controller tracking. There are no rings on the outside of the controller and will feature full inside-out tracking. The headset also comes with a charging dock for the controllers. Face and eye tracking is guaranteed to be built into the headset. We're also building in eye tracking and face tracking. Internally, there are 480p 120fps eye tracking cameras and two 400p 120fps face tracking cameras. They are rumored to be extremely accurate, even being able to track your nose flares and eyebrow movements. The speakers will be similar, if not the exact same to the Quest 2. The Wi-Fi will feature Wi-Fi 6E, and there is a USB-C port on the side of the headset. The volume controls are also on the side of the headset. The battery will be attached to the back just like the Elite strap. It's rumored to be announced at MetaConnect somewhere between the July and December timeframe. It'll support Quest 1 and 2's current content in terms of compatibility. We'll share more details about Project Cambria in the months ahead as we get ready to launch it. The raw materials of the headset are rumored to be 800 USD. It will most likely be around this price range. What do you think? Personally, I'm extremely disappointed if they don't increase the resolution, but it looks like they're going to absolutely nail the form factor. I'll leave links to all my sources in the description below. I would like to add that this is all rumors and speculation, so please take everything with a grain of salt. Go subscribe to Bradley's YouTube and follow him on Twitter. Thanks as always, and remember I reply to every single comment.